Hello everyone, welcome to BIMMODELER, this is Raj. In this basic tutorial, you will be learning linear array and radial array. So this is going to be a series of tutorial. In this series of tutorial, you will learn from the basic array. After that, you will be creating a fence family and louver families, all our line based families, whatever the families available with little bit as a line based or array based families. So stay tuned and start with this generic template and save the family into the, your location and create a X group as as usual and with a 100 diameter uh, 100 radius and with the height any height that you wanted this is going to be a practice basic tutorial so create as you wanted we just need a simple object on the family so let's start array there are different options in array so you can see that there is a shortcut AR which is the shortcut for array you can pick the array command and there are two array types one is linear array and second one is a polar array in AutoCAD you will see three types of arrays rectangular array and polar array path array but in Revit we have two arrays so next option is association and number of element array element that you needed and I'm using the second position so I know the gap if you know the gap between the first object and second object select the second so click the base point and select the second point or specify the value I'm specifying 500 now the five elements are created with a gap of 500 each so you can see that there is an association between all these five elements you can see that it is created as a group so there are totally five groups element you can change those value by changing value as 10 it is increasing in the length the array length it is getting increased so that is called the association so between the object we will have association so you can move around anywhere that you wanted and it will keep the association it will maintain the gap between one to one elements as simple it is so if I make control is that I'm, I'm going back to the array command again to explain the other options the group and association option if I remove that and uh, let me specify 5 if I remove and try to create the array with the same options 500 gap now if you select the element you will have five different extrude elements it is not associated between each and every one so the association between the elements are deleted so it's just a simple copy and paste I'm making control is it back to explain the other option so which is group and association is done the next one is that uh, we have option for you know, second and last so what is the gap you know if you know the gap between the first and last element you can specify the last option and click the position or specify the value now the defined values will be created in between those two points or between those two distance so this is a simple array which is still having association between those you can change the value as you need it select the element and uh, if you if you wanted to uh, select all the instance of the element so you can go to the select options all ele all elements visible in the view and there are five elements you can make ungroup it is nothing but removing the association between the elements as similar to the previous one so making control is it back and and uh, we have to try the other option after control is it take the array again this time you will be learning constraint so when you click the constraint you cannot move all the directions it constrained only on the x and y directions if you remove it you can directionally anywhere you can move around so the option to the y direction so now if you see that it, it is only constrained to the y direction so this is all about the linear array so we have to start with uh, another array type which is a polar array so we have to 
uh, keep the element uh, some distance apart from the center so that the bipolar array will be easy for us to do it. So I'm keeping it some distance apart from the center axis. So let's start the array command. Select the radial and you have the same options, group and association, everything. The only thing is that you have to move the center from uh, center of the object to the center of the origin of the family. Then select the first point and what is that you know, second point or last point. So the thing is that array count must be 3 to 200. So the radial array must have a three number as minimum for the linear array it must be having two elements as minimum so let me make it as five and place the object on the center of the family and select the second position let's say in this place so the five elements will be created based on my angle definition as a second one Change the value as 10, you can see that it will be created around the 360 degree. If I increase the value as 25, it will not allow us because the 360 degree is covered with the angle defined. If you wanted to uh, change uh, the uh, angle again, so you can create the recreate it again by Ctrl Z it and 10. Specify the center and rotate it the degree that you wanted. It is the last option. So the 10 elements will be created from the first point to the last point. So you can increase or decrease the value. You can increase or decrease the, decrease the value of the object in this position. So it is possible that you can assign the formula also for these elements. We will be discussing that later. Select all the instances and group it. It is similar to the previous one that the association will be removed between the objects. Take the array again, place the center point and define the number of objects that you needed. Specify the angle, this time 360 degree and the number of objects you needed. And once it is done, press enter. So the object will be created 360 degree and 10 objects will be created. You can increase or decrease the number of objects needed in between the two so you will have association still so you can increase or decrease the number of objects you can go to 3d and change the number of object to 10 and make it shaded you can view the elements whatever the change that you make in group it will be affected in the all this all the group if you make one changes to the one group all group will be affected. So that is the best point of uh, grouping and association, keeping the association between the two. So let us make some changes in the group and let's see that whether it affects the other groups or group elements or not. So edit the group and change the value uh, that you want it. So let me uh, Edit the extrude and change the value as 50 as radius. Finish it. Now, if we finish the group, automatically it will be affected in all the elements of the array. We can go further. We can create another extrude or any other elements in inside the group, and the same element will be created for all the group. Let's go and create another extrude and finish it. Now edit the group, add the element to the group, finish it. So the array you are learning group also, group is a separate topic that you will be able to learn it. Even it is constrained, so you can change the value of the radius, it will be automatically moved from the
Let us go back to 3D and see that object and edit the group. Okay, we don't need uh, that rectangle box and we can delete it and modify the extrusion so the group elements will be still apart from the changes. Do remember all these options we will be using in the later family settings in the parametric advanced tutorials. Let us make an, a rectangular array. So we will be able to create array inside another array. So let's create a first array with the five elements from first to the last. And let's create another array by selecting all these instances of this array element. Right clicking visible in the view or entire project. Create array one more linear array on the y direction now this time this element will be 10 from the top I know the first position and last position I can specify it and the 10 rows will be created so this is called rectangle array so in AutoCAD you will be able to create it at a time so x and y values can be defined but in Revit you have to specify x and y values arrays separately so now if you open the array you will have array inside another array if you modify elements it will affect the another rows also so we have to remember all these options where when we create uh, advanced tutorials do remember the basic things the edit group if you edit the group diameter or uh, element in one element so it will also affect all the elements in array in a rectangular array. That's it. Uh, do subscribe to our channel. So uh, we are creating a series of tutorials for basic to advanced.